Composite Mold presents a tutorial how to use a two-part mold to make a classic fishing lure. For this example, we use Power Mold 100% reusable mold making material in Composite Cast Urethane Resin. All materials to make your own casting and moldings are available at CompositeMold.com. The process starts by placing the fishing lure you are duplicating into a mold box such as this aluminum foil bread container. Polymer clay such as Sculpey or Fema are used to hold the lure in place. Spray the container and lure with a mold release. Melt the power mold in the microwave. Pour the melted power mold around the lure. This portion of the mold will be remelted and reused afterwards. Fill up to about the halfway point on the lure. The top of the mold will become the parting line. Let the power mold cool. We recommend placing in the refrigerator or freezer to cool faster and to a cooler temperature. When cooled, spray the top of the power mold and lure with a mold release. Melt more power mold, but let it cool some and stir to equilibrate the temperature throughout the power mold before pouring onto the fishing lure. This part of the mold will become one portion of the mold to use to cast the fishing lure. Refrigeration speeds up the cooling and helps ensure the two halves of the power mold mold do not stick together. Remove the mold from the mold box. You could use these two halves as your mold. But, because the bottom half has the clay in it, we will remake this portion of the mold. First clean up the usable half by cutting the edges so it fits into the mold box. These cut off pieces of power mold will be remelted and reused. Scissors or an exacto knife work well for cutting power mold. Place the usable half of the mold in the mold box. Collect and remelt the pieces of the power mold. This could be filtered if you would like, but is not necessary. While melting the power mold, prepare the fishing lure for the final mold half. Add a small piece of polymer clay to the back of the lure. This will be the mold sprue. The sprue is the hole where we will pour the composite cast urethane resin into the mold to fill it. Spray the mold in lure with the mold release. Pour on the melted power mold. Cool. We cooled in the refrigerator and it took less than an hour. Take the power mold out of the mold box. Separate the two halves and take out the original part. If necessary, clean up the sides of the mold. You can see the sprue on the top of the two-part mold. Spray the inside with mold release. Spray the sprue hole as well. Tape the two halves of the mold together. 
We use pieces of cardboard to provide a little extra support to the mold. Mix the composite cast urethane resin. It mixes in a one-to-one -one ratio by weight or volume. We also add some micro balloons into the resin to reduce the weight of the fishing lure. Mix the resin thoroughly and pour the composite gas into the mold. We pour the composite gas through a funnel. Tap the sides slightly to disengage any bubbles. Let composite gas urethane resin cure. Curing takes about 20 minutes to a half hour. Pull off the tape, separate the two part mold, and examine your part. Pull your casting out of the power mold mold and clean it off. This includes breaking off the sprue and any extra plastic. Your fishing lure casting using a two-part power mold mold is complete. Materials used in this video are available at compositemold.com. Thank you for listening and enjoy your molding and casting.